this, um, I be forgetting days. Um, today is uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Wednesday morning, Wednesday morning, wake up, 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 wake up. Guess I'm talking to myself too. Good morning, good morning. If you woke up and you're tired, if you woke up and you're tired, lay back down for a minute. God give me strength. Let me get back up. Then get right back up. Ask God to give you some strength. Get back up and say, God, I received the word. When you wake back up, say, God, I received the word. I receive the word. I, I receive the word. I speak life. I speak health. I speak strength. I speak joy. I speak determination. I speak that you're going to be blessed in your body. I speak you're going to be blessed in your hands. I speak you're going to be blessed in your home. I, I speak that your your hands going to be your, your, your house is going to be restored. Uh, your love is going to be restored. Your joy is going to be restored. Your peace is going to be restored. I pray. I, I pray that understanding comes again. I pray that uh, confusion leaves your house. I pray that healing comes in your house. I pray that understanding comes in your house. I pray that I pray that power. I pray that unity come in your house. Because when unity come in your house, God's favor gonna come. I pray that God's favor come in your house. I, I I pray that God's hand touch you. I pray that God's hand touch your body. I pray that God's hand touch whatever you're asking God to touch in the mighty name of Jesus God. God calls your hand to touch. God calls your hand to move. God calls your hand to open up just like, just like, just like, just like the children of Israel and Moses were at the, the Red Sea. And, and they were in a situation where, they were in a situation where uh, they were in a dead end where the Red Sea was there and the enemies didn't have pursuit. But Moses turned to God and God said what was in his hand. And when Moses stretched what was in his hand, which was faith, then what was before him, that obstacle, it opened up, it parted. You need to know that whatever you're facing, whatever you're facing, if you stretch forth your faith, if you stretch forth what's in your hand, and that's faith. If you begin to open up your mouth, begin to bless the name of the Lord, what's it before you, that obstacle before you, it will it will bow down. That obstacle before you will bow down and open up. That obstacle will bow down and open up, and you'll be able to walk through. And your enemy won't touch you. Your enemy won't touch you. Some of you, you're afraid of your enemy. Don't be afraid of your enemy. Don't be afraid of witches. Don't be afraid of someone putting, putting some goofy dust or, or, or something on you. Because the scripture says, uh, God has given you power over all the power of the enemy. The trade up on scorpions and serpents. God has given you the power and the ability to trade up on scorpions. Now, you know, a scorpion got a sting and a scorpion can hurt. It hurts. And then deadly poison. And if any deadly poison harm you, uh, you drink any deadly poison, it ain't going to harm you. But even them scorpions or even them snakes. And some of you, you got snakes around your house. You got snakes around your house. You got snakes at your job. See, but you need to understand if you get bit, you need to know, you need to understand. God said, shake it off. Shake it off. It ain't going to harm you. It ain't going to harm you. When you in God, when you trust in him and when you're close to him, whatever touch you, whatever come up against you, it won't be able to harm you. It won't be able to bother you. Because, because of the scripture says that a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but none shall come near your dwelling. But you shall behold the reward of the wicked. Why? Why is that? Why is that? Because you're close to God. Because you're close to God. But briefly, I want to say this. Last night, last night I know, yesterday, I guess last night there was a message. I think it was uh, about cheating, uh, there's life after cheating. And I want to say that there's life after betrayal. There's life after betrayal. There's life after being disappointed. There's life after the door being slammed in your face. There's life after all of that. There's life after the, the worst disastrous thing in your life. I remember when, when I lost my mom. It felt like the end of the world. It really did because that was my friend, my mom, the one that I trusted. I looked to all of that, all of that. And when she was gone, I felt I felt alone. But in my hour where I felt alone, you need to hear this. When I, when I felt alone, God came and comforted me. When I felt alone, God came and comforted me. And this is what he said. He said, uh, he said son, I took your mom's. I took your mom, I took your mom, but I left you a gift and I left you a sound. And if anybody knew anything about my mom, my mom was loud. My mom would let you know exactly how she felt. She would let you know what God is saying. She would, she would glorify and magnify God in any situation. She had a big mouth. She had a big mouth. And see, God is raising up big mouths. Oh, yes, he is. He was. It's time out for being quiet because the scripture said it was a hundred, a hundred division or something. Make a, uh, make a joy for noise unto Lord, all your people. And so in order to make a joy for noise, you have to have a big mouth. Your mouth has to be open. 
You got to take the bend. You got to you open up that mouth and begin to magnify him and allow an echo to happen. And an echo is a noise. And see, the thing about it, God is bringing an echo and an echo. And so then when God is, going to, God is speaking a word, and he's going to keep speaking the word over and over again. Faith, over and over again, the healing, over and over again, deliverance, over and over again. And so you need to know that you might have got hurt. You might be hurt. You might have said, I'm done. I'm through. I'm through it all. I'm through with it. I'm through with it. I'm through with it. It's finished. It's over. You might be feeling like that. You might feel, you might you might have been hit by something so unexpected, uh, so unexpectedly that you don't have no air to breathe because it hurts so bad. You, it hurts to it hurts to think. That's how painful what you're dealing with, and some you've been dealing with for a long time. But I come to tell you, you might have been dealing with it for a long time, but. Tears, pain, they all have an expiration date. Because the scripture that there's going to come a time when God's going to wipe away every tear. You need to know that God's going to wipe away your every tear. And you say, what is God always talking about? Faith. Y'all God talking about hope. What if we got? God, he's the blessed hope. I'm telling, I'm telling you what's in my spirit. I'm telling you what he's speaking to me. And he's never turned his back on me. He never loved me, never forsaken me. He's always been there. He's not always been there when I wanted him to be, but he came when I needed him. He done broke me down a few times. And um, and so that's one of the things that with God and and especially with a prophet, one of the biggest things that a prophet got to deal with is pride become property from God himself, herself. And so one of the biggest things that a prophet has, a problem difficult for a prophet to do is submit. Humility, that's where power is as humility. The way up in God is a down. You know, I, I've been I've been um, I've been saved since I was uh, what thirteen years old, fifty three, and uh, my ears are always open to hear. It's always open to listen. No one has cornered the market of knowledge or information or wisdom. There's only one wise, most wise one. There's only one most perfect one. The scripture said, "We help us one to another. We need each other." That's why I come on every day. Every day I go through stuff. Every day it's like you go through stuff. But God has given me the wisdom and God has given me the insight on identifying what it is. <laughs> and identifying what it is, knowing how to deal with it and then and, and bring him in it. Bring God in it. At your worst state. There's been times when I come up here when I've been at my ugly, especially. You know, times when my uh, my son was in the hospital. I came on anyway. My ugly, my ugly, my ugly, tired, worn out, afraid, all that. See, I don't know that. All those my offering. I don't care. I don't care about how I look. Just, I, we get to work. I just get, get, pray to God and help God's people. And so that's my testimony. That's my testimony. And I'm sticking to it. To, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. For the things he has done. With this love, he have raised me. With his blood, he have saved me. Will to God be the glory for the things he has done. Yeah, I'm just trying to sound quiet. It's early in the morning, so try to be respectful. Try to be respectful. But at some point, at some point today, at some point I'm going to be in the car. At some point today I'm going to be in the car and be by myself. Well, not by myself. But I'm going to go so, but still, I can be a little more loose. I can talk a little more, you know, because of the sound and, you know, ain't nobody going to be hearing. And so now that I don't want people to hear, but you know, trying to be respectful. You know how to get, trying to be respectful. You know, in order to get respect, you got to give it. Just like love, in order to get love, you got to give it. <laughs> 